hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is server connection fail fail to connect to the server so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to with, without trying any troubleshooting step first of all you can try this you can try launching the game from epic games launchers this has worked for many players so if you have the game steam then in that case you can just go to epic games launcher website and then you can install you can download epic games launcher once installed login you can create an account and once logged in now you can search for the game in epic games launcher now once you find the game you can just uh, install the game on epic games launcher you can click on get and then you can go to library and then you can install this game and launch the game from here if if you are already using epic games launcher in that case you can do the same thing on steam you can install the game on steam and then check now the next step is to clear local configuration files in launcher so when you launch the game it opens launcher and here you can see clear local configuration files you can click on it and then you can launch the game and then check this has also worked for many players now the next step is to turn off or turn on vpn so if you're using vpn so in that case you can turn it off then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can turn it on and then launch the game and then check next step is to use cloudflare now this has also worked for uh, many players so you can use this cloudflare uh, and that should help you to fix the error now still you are receiving the error then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart your pc do not ignore this step just restart your computer once and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working restart steam so go to steam at the top click on steam and then click on exit now once steam is closed now you can type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and while restarting steam if there is any update for the game update the game now still you're facing the problem next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make sure that you verify the game files to verify the game files go to steam on the top click on library and then find the game in the list make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so on now you can for this open windows settings now go to go to time and language now go to date and time and then over here you can see set time zone automatically if this is on if this is off turn it on if set time automatically is off turn it on make sure both are on and then scroll down and then you will see sync now option so click on sync now if you see any error in red color just click on sync now once again and then go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here select the right country and then check next step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle first of all shut down your computer now once you shut down your computer after you shut down your computer unplug the power cable from the computer then turn off the Wi-Fi router then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router plug in the power cable back to the computer and then start your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to run these commands. these commands are provided in the video descriptions type in CMD in Windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here so copy the command one by one paste it over here hit the enter key now copy the second command now paste it over here hit the enter key and now run the third command paste it hit the enter key run this command paste it hit the enter key and then run the last command paste it hit the enter key now you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can check next step is to now if you're using any third-party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program 
So allow the game exe file or you can allow the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program and then you can launch the game and then check. Windows security user allow the game exe file to control folder access and Windows firewall. To add the game exe file to Windows security, open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access and then click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder, open the open your drive and then open open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file in your game folder so you can check all the game folder uh, there might be one or two exe file you have to add the exe file game exe file and then click on open and once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check you can do the same thing in firewall so Type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app. Again, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed. Open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, click on add. And once the game is added, to the firewall now you can click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to use google dns server now for this open control panel so type in control panel in windows search box open control panel now go to network and internet and over here you have to click on network and sharing center now over here you will see your wi-fi so click on your wi-fi and then click on properties over here now over here Select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IV4 and then click on select this and then click on properties. Now once you click on property, select the second option over here. Use the following DNS server addresses. Now over here type in 8888. So you, you have to type in 88. I have already in my case it, it's already typed in. So type in 8888 and then add for alternate DNS servers, type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK. Close this and let this complete. Now close this, close it. Now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, like you can, if you have any other network, you can switch to different network and once you're connected to different network, you can check. You can even switch to mobile hotspot. So you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network over here. And once connected, now you can launch the game and then check. If you're using VPN, then close VPN and then check. Next tip is to use Ethernet connection. So if you have an Ethernet cable, you can connect the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port of the computer. So if your computer has an Ethernet port, you can use Ethernet cable to connect and then check. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, now restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel.